Alright, so this is the first video on the stickball game that I've been working on. Um, I don't know how long, 50, 60 hours or something, which is a very short amount of time. Uh, most of it was just coming up with ideas, testing things, deleting it when it didn't work, and then, uh, yeah, just kind of play testing has actually been a lot of the time. Uh, but let's go ahead and start it. So here's the game. Um, and let's play. So the idea of the game is that you're a ball and there's this little stick thing right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see my mouse, hopefully you can. But you can hit the space bar and the stick extends. It goes that far. And then when it gets to the ends, it, uh, it does this bouncy thing, which allows you to like, you know, bounce. Uh, you can move left and right with arrow keys or tilting the device. Uh, for a device, if you press the screen, then, then this thing, the stick, will extend. Uh, these are blocks that push you. You'll see that there is an arrow on it and a color to it. Uh, right now, the darker the color represents the uh, amount of momentum that you have when you go into it. So, for example, if you smash into this one pretty quickly, you continue your momentum to the right. I was going right, and then I continue right. And for one that is bright, you do not have momentum. So if I smash into it, it'll just negate my old speed and uh, do what it wants. So this is level one. It's a pretty easy level. Or so I thought. Um, good. Pro example. Uh, if you fall off the map, you return to the beginning and everything is reset, including the amount of stars you get, which is here in the top left, and the time that it took you. Uh, you can also go to the menu up here in the right. You can, uh, continue, restart level, go to the main menu, basic things. So, this is just me playing this little level. Um... Normally, I'm going to try to not do too good on a lot of the levels because otherwise it wouldn't be really fair. Uh, right here is the finishing of the level. It tells you the amount of time expected for you to beat it. Well, no, the challenge time. Uh, how many stars you got and well, that that's about it and that you beat the level. Good job. <laughs> um, you are not supposed to get all three things at once. You're supposed to get the time in one run, stars in another run, and you're supposed to just beat it in another run. So eventually these numbers are going to add up to three over time instead of three in one playthrough. As you can see, you got to go pretty quick for the 10 seconds, which I'm going to try to get this time. Should be able to. The times are slightly hard sometimes. Yeah, I just barely made that. So then, let's go to level 2. Now, I know all the secrets, so like, normally, this is how a normal person would beat the level. And then they'd be like, oh, a thing. And you jump across it, and you're like, a normal person might have the idea to do that or something and then like ooh, and then there's a ball and I'm assuming most people would go over the ball do, 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 do. and then they'd beat the level and you realize they have no stars they didn't get the time so maybe this time they'll think about things and I'll just go ahead and get all the stars real quick yeah The levels um, are all pretty easy right now. They're pretty short. They're just to get the fundamentals of the game. Uh, okay. So this is the only hard part of this level is that you need a little bit precise timing. Not really, but just a little bit for that. Uh, you'll see the background, the sun has gone down. 
I don't know if you noticed the sun in the beginning. I didn't say anything about it, but uh, there was a sun. There's a day-night cycle. So now I'm trying to get the time for the map, which should be pretty easy. I think this one's an easier one to get the time. The longer the map right now, the easier it is to get the time because I don't want people to get too frustrated with long maps. Yeah, 18 seconds. I had two seconds to spare there. That was pretty easy. Uh, so... Oh, and I shouldn't do that. Um, for every one of these maps, I'm gonna do the estimated playthrough of a normal person. And then I'm gonna do getting all the stars. And then I'm gonna do the time. So, that's how I expect a normal person. Notice I didn't get the stars because uh, getting that star didn't count because it was after I finished the level. You have to get the star before you finish the level. So, here's a star. And to get that, how do you get that? Do, do, do. Well, you're supposed to do a little jump. And just barely make it. Okay. And then this one... A easy little one nothing special there I'm probably gonna make that a little harder to get actually because that was an old game old iteration of the game so right there you're supposed to jump over the finish line I see that this is the finish line and then finish up with the three stars um, and here's the speed run to get the time I believe this one's really picky on how fast you gotta do it I think it's 10 or 12 seconds Nah, it's not even gonna get- it's not gonna work. <sighs> okay, that- yeah, that's got it. Oh, 14, never mind. I made it easier. Okay, this used to be really hard on 12 seconds. So this level just got changed around. Um, so I guess the normal person would go this way first. And then they'd be like, what's going on? And then they'd figure out to go left. And they'd be like, well, what's this? And I guess a normal person might do this. And I go, like, oh, that didn't work. So, you see, you got this and you got a ramp. Alright, intuition here. And look, the sun's rising. Cool. So, boom. Now you're over here. Now, what's this purple stuff? Okay, so, to be fair, um, I don't have a introduction screen or anything. Or instructions. So, this purple stuff is bad. Don't touch it. I'll show it in a later level. I just don't feel like restarting the level. <laughs> because once you touch that, it resets the level. It's the same as falling down. So now, let's go for the stars. One star. This is all. This has always been a hard star to get. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the sun. I love the sun. In this game, otherwise it's not that great. Okay, so I just gotta go ahead and grab him. And there's all three stars. And now the 27, 27 seconds of time. I think this is also an easier one for time. Oh! Oh, this is sad. I don't think I'm going to get it anymore. I might. It's an easy one. For time, at least. The reason that this level is generally easier is because that one ramp that I just did, the getting to the boost pad on the left is much harder than it looks. So there's the time. Level 5. Let's do the uh, expected result first. See this just, you know, it kind of plays itself almost. If you're not doing the special stuff. Oh, so okay. Um, I'll touch this. And then you see it resets. So, most people will, you know, not touch that in the future. As you can see, it's not too, um, hiding. 
Okay, depression. Um, so I'm gonna just get the stars now. Uh, not to, you know, to not spend too much time on it. So here's the first guy. You need to just barely make it over there. And then you need to touch this and stuff. Now, you probably notice there's a star back here. And there's also a boosty thing, and there's also a boosty thing. And it just gets you over that. So that's nice. Oh, there's a star there. Okay, so as you saw probably before, there's this green thing. So the colors indicate what you can and can't jump on. Uh, this green has been shown in other levels a little bit, but um, you can't use your stick on it. So you need to be on this on this green to use your stick. And then get it. Now you'll see that these are the green that you can't touch, and then there's purple, so you, you touch these and you lose. And that's the three stars. Now 27 seconds. I believe that the fastest way is to just go like this. Make sure not to hit that because that's a stop block. I did hit it, but it really didn't matter too much. Now this, you can barely cheese it if you're feeling risky. I didn't need to, but you can. Alright, so now we got level 6. It pushes you up here, so I think most players will do some stuff like this. But as you can see, there's a boost pad over here. There's also a star right there, but uh, we'll get to that later. So you got this thing, and whoop! Okay, well that just, that happened. So now you're over here, and there's a purple thingy, and now you're over here, and uh, if you go too far, you die down there, so I'm not going to go that way. But there's a star right there, and that's the end of the level, so really easy level if you're not going for any special stuff, but you'll notice that over here is a star, and that was not too easy to get. Now you have two choices, you can either come back, or you could do it the opposite way, you can come over here. Actually, let's do this the way it was intended. There's a lot of ways you can get that star, but the way it was intended is that you grab it, you come here, you boost up, and whoop, you're right here. Now there's a star right here, and I didn't catch, but you know what, I put that there so that when people fail to get back they could. So the idea of this one is that you gotta get it just like all the other ones but you gotta no oh, not do that oh actually oh okay note to self change that block later that block is the one that um, continues your momentum that block is not supposed to continue your momentum that should be a forced move block but you know whatever so I'm going for the time here. Easily beat it, okay. Level 7. Okay, so level 7 introduces a new mechanic, as you'll notice. What the? Did I just climb that wall? Okay, well, that's a thing, apparently. I don't, you can't really climb walls. I just think I had a weird amount of momentum plus spinning angular velocity kind of thing. But, um... Yeah, you can't you can't do anything. You're trapped in here. That's why you got this little thing right here. It's a teleporter. So we got teleporter level. Whoop! And you're like, oh, you didn't see that. <laughs> That's supposed to be an advanced tactic. Okay, so you come up here, and then you come up here, and you come up here, and you're dead. So, you do it again, but you don't mess up at the end. As you'll notice, there's no stickball in this part of the game. Uh, well, there is right here, actually. We got a little stick. So we jump on over to here. And then we got this. And it boosts over, and you win the level. Sadly, I already showed the uh, how to beat the level in 10 seconds, but uh, if you didn't notice, there was a star up there, you could barely see it right above me, 
So we're gonna go try to get that star. And to get that, come over here. To the other boost pad. And you come down here. And whoop. You get this guy. And then you boost on over. Now, hopefully, you'll notice that in the bottom left of my screen is something that we have not seen yet. And that gives the player the idea of it being over here on the left. So how do you get there? Well, there's two ways. You can either go from the other side of the teleporter, or you could just not leave the teleporter. Uh, that's it's all fair game so there's one of these this is like a line rider creation and then you're back here so you got your stars now all you gotta do is not fail and you got the three stars now as for the time I'm gonna go ahead and try to go as fast as I can and see if I can beat the time there should be no way at all that I could do I mean even if I didn't mess that up, there's no way that uh, I could beat the time. Alright, oh, yeah, 14 seconds. So, um, to beat the time, there's two ways you could do it. You can either do this. Actually, I don't know. I don't actually know if this will beat the time or not. Well, not if I do it this slow. There's no way that'll beat the time. No. But the concept is there. So you need to go through the bottom side of the teleporter on my bottom left or whatever. You need to go through the bottom. To do that, you go around and then boop. Okay, now that was 18 seconds because I sat there and waited, but let's just do it one last time. You can go through either, either of these because of the same teleporter. And should be 9 seconds? 10 seconds, okay. So now, the final level is this thingy. And hey, look, the sun's back. I didn't even... When you play the game, you stop realizing the light in it. It just It's dark, it's light, you don't even notice. I, I forgot. I don't even know how many times the sun has come up. So, this is the first level that really shows the importance of the differentiating colors as you see these are really dark and remember darker the darker they are the more momentum that they save so if I go through these they're saving my downward momentum now this yellow block has no momentum so as you see if I hit it going fast it doesn't care but these orange ones, they give me a boost in the direction that they are facing, but they also contain or keep up my previous power. So now I'm just going through to the end of the level, grabbing this guy. Um, so there is a trick to this level um, to make you go faster or control yourself a bit. As you'll see, this is a, uh, a yellow boost pad, which means that it does not care about my previous momentum. Uh, so I will always go to this height no matter what. But if I'm on my way up and I smash against the wall, there is friction. So I'm going to push against the wall. Right now I'm pushing left, and as you can see I'm going a lot less. So you can use that to your advantage throughout this level by doing shorter jumps like this. And you can, like right now I'm pushing against the wall and causing an extreme amount of friction. So I believe I got the three stars already. Oop. I got the three stars, so now I'm just gonna do it at a speed run. And to help with the speed, you can make these jump shorter. Unless you make it too short. So, just do, it saves a second here and there, and that matters. Like right there, I probably just saved a total of a second and a half or something through doing that. So I should have no problem beating this. 
Now, I'm not pushing against the wall right there. The reason... Yeah, there, okay, I barely made it. The reason that happened at the end is because... So, I believe that this is a yellow one, so it will push me up this distance. Okay. No, it's not a... This is not a momentum saving one. Um, how do I describe it? If you hit a block that always goes the same distance, and you hit it from the bottom, like I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit this block from the bottom, the one right above me, and it will send me to a fixed amount of distance from where I hit it. I seriously can't do it. Okay. Now, it sends me this high, but if I hit it from the top, it sends me slightly higher, and that is because it sends you one block distance higher because you're hitting it from the top instead of the bottom. Because the force is added when you hit it. Just a minor detail, that's not going to be a mechanic, but it is going to be in the game. Uh, so this game, in general, is not program intensive at all. In fact, I could have made this game within the first couple months of my degree. Um, it's just the reason I decided to make this game rather than many of my other prototypes uh, is because it's the most fun to make and play. Uh, only reason whatsoever. Uh, so that is all of the levels for now. Um, the levels only take like half an hour to an hour to make, so I can make so many levels uh, in no time at all. The only problem right now is that I'm introducing new mechanics. So, like the teleporter level, uh, level 7 I believe. This level, I could make this in 20 minutes, or, hold on, this is the wrong side. I can do this in like 20 minutes or less. Probably less than 20 minutes. But the problem is, um, you know, I'll expand it all to show you the entire level. So this is the entire level from here to here. Th this is like 20 minutes. Um, but it takes like two minutes to find music, like 18 to make the actual level, but then you gotta play test it. And, uh, the most time consuming Part of all this is to just make sure it's fun, uh, which I actually do have fun playing this game. Um, I don't know if anyone else does, but I do, so that's why I'm making it. I'm sure that other people will, someone will. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so once I get all the mechanics down, which, let me grab the mechanics, uh, we have, for each level, we have collectibles. As of right now, we only have one collectible, which is the star you're used to seeing, the blue star. Uh, we have the ground. We have a normal piece of ground, a circle, and a wall that you can't, the, 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 the light green wall that your stick can't hit. That's it. It's really easy right there. The special, you got the boost pad. You got the finish line. Um, the jump pad is chilling right now. It's not actually in the game. You got the kill block, the purple block, you got the stop block, the one that stops you, and you got the teleporter. So there's very few mechanics in it. Um, as you can see, there's a couple materials. Uh, just one player, not too much. Um, these are just uh, music and stuff, icons to make my life easier. I'll show you some of the scripts. Just to get you an idea of what it takes to make a game of this level, which is not much. Again, this is not my degree that I'm working in with this game, essentially. Game development is programming, software, making things work. <laughs> and this is not about making things work. This is about making things fun. So really, I feel like this is kind of a designer thing that I'm doing right now. But it's so much fun that I just don't care. <laughs> right now, this is, uh, it motivates me to do it because it's fun to do. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be making these super calculators and stuff, which just sucks. Um, 
So here's the camera follow. It's really easy. This is what makes the camera follow the player. You got the night day cycle. This took me an hour to figure out the math and everything to just make it all right. A day night cycle, I clocked it on the phone. It's like uh, eight minutes and 20 seconds for a full 24 hours in game. Um, there's nothing. This is just so the stars spin. Uh, this is the block that pushes you. Uh, I'll go to this guy last. This is the teleporter. And then we got the player. Um, the player has... The player keeps track of basically everything in the game. The player is like the manager. And eventually I'm probably going to make a real manager. But right now it's just chilling in the player. Um, a start means that you... On the beginning of the game, you initialize things, so you set everything up. This is the setup for everything. Update means that this happens once every frame. And we have a couple of things, like this whole thing. This is when you collide with something. And we have a star. When you collide with a star, you get a point. When you collide with the finish line, you get that text, you know, that text that appears on screen, that's all this stuff. Um, you get the boost pad when you collide with it, and you get the kill box, which resets you. Then we got the reset, and these are just um, functions. A function is something that you can use whenever you want. So like, say I want to use this code, I could just call this thing called hard reset, and it does this code. So right here... I have the word hard reset and right here I have something that's called an if condition so basically what this says in English is if the position of my character is less than 10 which means that I fell off the level or you hit the escape key then you do a hard reset a hard reset is all this code and this is setting everything to zero, like my position is equal to my start position, which is the beginning of the level. My velocity is equal to zero. The stick is equal to the original length of the stick. The score is zero, all this stuff. So that, that's a really basic thing of how programming works. Um, and this is called a for loop. This, this allows you to... Uh, go through all the stars in the level we have stars in level and you go through all of them and then you set their active to true you know, just little things uh player movement right here uh expanding the stick um same stuff right here uh main menu if you hit the main menu thing. <laughs> uh, displaying stuff. Uh, going to the next level. The countdown for the next level. Just some stuff to make the interface work better. Hiding the buttons. And pausing the game. And that's, that's literally everything. That is every single line of code basically in the whole thing. I didn't explain these, but these are pretty easy. Okay, so, I guess that's everything in the game. Um, right now, now that I have the game working on PC, Mac, Android, and technically iPhone. I mean, it works on all of them. I just can't distribute on all of them. Um, I'm going to be working on a combination of features and aesthetics. As you heard, there were some, there was some music, and I want to point out, like, okay, so there's music here. It's okay music. I mean, I just got it off the internet in two seconds. I didn't really choose, but something such as this sound right here. It's a pretty crap sound. It's the sound used to complete a level. So I'd like to find good stuff like that. Sound effects also. I have a sound for when you pick up the coin, but 
right there. I don't have any sounds for boost pads or stuff like that, so mainly aesthetics is what I'm going for right now. I want some flair, I guess, to the game a little bit before I go too much into making all the levels um, and do a little more deciding on textures and uh, colors. But eventually, I will get to a point where I can just create a bunch of levels. I'm expecting at least 100 levels for this game. Um, and that's over a period of who knows how long. And I could actually, at some point, hand this game off to um, someone that wants to make the levels. Uh, as long as I have all the mechanics in, I could essentially give this game to a 5th grader. And they could just, they could go like, uh, let's see, oh, put a star right there, oh, put the floor right there, make the floor bigger, and then put this right there, and do that, and rotate it, and you know, you, you, could, you can have anyone make a level. So, if anyone's interested, at some point, I will have... If anyone uses Unity and wants to work on this, um, I might even let that happen because it's just it's just gonna come down to creativity and time at one point. But until then, I will be making mechanics and uh, continuing to update the game. So if you want to play this game right now, there are three ways to do it. You can go to your you can go on your Android device, um, and go to my group thing. So if you're on an Android, you would do this on your Android. You'd go to the one that says APK, the latest version, which is 9, and you'd click, yeah, what, what happened? You click download. And it will download it to a new tab in your browser, and it will say Downloads tab. You click on it when it's done, you hit Install, and then when it's done installing, you hit Open. Uh, for a PC, you'll get the zip file. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, the process is very similar on Mac. So here's the thing I just downloaded. I'm gonna extract files, which it's a zip file, so I would advise using WinRAR, 7-zip, any unzipping thing. Uh, go to where it unzipped to, and then click on this thingy. And then choose your graphics, your resolution, just leave it all basically and hit play. And you'll notice that the game pops up and is playable, and it works completely should work 100%. Um, to exit, you should Alt-Tab, Control-Delete. There is no exit on it, so, uh, you know, you gotta escape it. <laughs> I'm gonna delete this real quick so it's not on my computer, though. Um, Paper Mario, though. Uh, so on a Mac, let me do that, too. Did I change anything? No, this was no. Let me do it on a Mac real quick, and then that'll be the end of the video. I'm gonna run my Mac. Uh, I as far as iOS goes and iPhones, it's not happening. Um, the amount of security needed is ridiculous on an iPhone. They simply don't let you do it unless you pay them a hundred dollars for the development kit and or, right developer license uh it's a hundred dollars a year i will be doing that uh same thing with the android it is 25 dollars i believe a year i will be paying both of those but not until the game's ready and there's no point of paying until i'm ready to do it uh so yeah these will not come out until they are on not the final version, but like at least 70%. It needs to be a game that is more than 10 minutes of gameplay and is ready to be launched. And then I'll update it in the future. 
Uh, I don't know what my password is in any way at all. Do I? Okay, I got lucky. So this is my Mac. Okay, so down here. Okay, you hide. You go away. No, you know what? You go away. So this is how it'll work for you. You go to Safari. You're going to go to Facebook. Ah, man, it's so laggy. Uh, It's pretty bad because it's a virtual machine, and I don't exactly know how to set them up properly. So we're going to go to Groups. My Games. You're going to... Come on. Come on, you can do it. Okay, so we have this. Uh, if you see apple.apple, .apple, then that's the correct thing. Download that over to here. And it'll be this one. Now you're going to get this, because this is why it doesn't work on iPhones, essentially, because you can't even download it on iPhones. But Mac security. If Mac does not approve of it, then it's not okay so we hit the information button and then this tells you how to do it um, I'm gonna hit open and it should not work right yeah it doesn't work um oh it worked but that's that's because I already did it. okay so it's not gonna work for you uh, you go to finder you find where you downloaded it okay forget this nothing's loading um, you go to your downloads, and you'll see that it's right here. Now, you need to hold down control or command or whatever your Apple thing is, uh, whatever your control alt command key is, and you left click. Essentially, you just need to get this. I mean, if you have a Mac, you probably know how to get this open. You click on the file, and you got to click this open. This one right here. It'll give you a thing that says, do you want to open this file, and you click open there. Um, it's just another layer of security. If you run on Mac, you might be able to run on Fat Fantastic. I can only run on Fastest because of this virtual machine. I have very low settings on this virtual machine. It's just meant to run. It's not meant to be good. So as you can see, the game does work on Mac. Um, it's slow and broken, kind of, but that's because of my computer speed. I'm, I'm running on, like, this is basically, like, a 90s computer. Like, this is just terrible. Actually, I'm not doing too bad right now, actually. Normally, it's slower than this. But, nonetheless, there's a Mac. Um, alright then, uh, that is all for the roll the stick ball currently, and I'll be making new updates, I don't know, every day. Thanks everybody, bye.